purpose of this video is to test the GoPro 7 4K stabilization on the 3DR Solo, to determine if the GoPro 7 would work for FPV, and to test the DJI race goggles with the Solo. Jumping straight to the results, the GoPro 7 Black works with the 3DR Solo. The GoPro 7 4K 60 frames a second stabilization works really well. The GoPro stabilization does cause a one second delay in the video stream. The DJI race goggles work with the Solo transmitter. The Solo live stream is too blurry in the DJI goggles to be useful. The configuration in this video is a 3DR Solo running open Solo. 3DR stock, propellers, battery, and the fixed mount. I used two GoPro 7 Blacks running the latest firmware, Solex on Android, and a set of DJI race goggles. Open Solo is better than the stock software in my opinion. If you haven't tried it, give it a shot. The transmitter did still act up though, transmitting even after it was powered off. It seemed like it took significant time for the transmitter and the Solo to connect. And every once in a while in GPS mode, it would still flip on landing. Like always, a loss of GPS will cause a flight mode change. I wasn't too impressed with the GoPro 7 Black. The battery life is still short camera still gets hot. I've now got an issue with HDMI output and this occurred on both of the GoPro 7 Blacks I tested with. The software and the buttons would completely lock up every once in a while. The Android app would flake out and fail to connect to the GoPro. I avoided it at all cost and manually updated the GoPros when necessary. And only basic stabilization occurs at 4K 60 frames a second. Setting the orientation on my Hero 4 would allow the camera to work with the 3DR Solo drone. I could not do this with the GoPro 7 Black. Actually, no matter what I did, I couldn't get the orientation to work. And sometimes when I plugged the GoPro 7 Black into a monitor, it would flake out. This actually happened with both units. Popping the GoPro 7 Black into the fixed mount and using the stock HDMI cable I was able to get a live stream. However, that live stream was upside down. And did you notice that one second delay? Yeah, that's pretty bad. It's caused from the stabilization. I don't know why GoPro does that. But if you turn the stabilization off, that one second delay goes away. Jumping on Amazon, I grabbed an aftermarket case, trimmed it up, and I also bought an aftermarket cable. It didn't turn out too bad. I charged a few batteries and I hit the field. All the video you're about to see is straight from the GoPro. I did not modify any of the color and I didn't modify any of the stabilization. The GoPro 7 Black stabilization actually works out pretty good.